Now, vegetables grown in Lincolnshire's fields are set to rot in the ground because there are not enough workers to pick them. One cabbage grower has told Look North that he could lose up to 30% of his crop this year. He's even doubled the wages for picking the veg to £20 an hour to attract people. As our correspondent Paul Murphy reports, veg lying in the fields means that supermarket shelves will stand empty. This farm produces more cabbage than any other in Britain. It's a business turning over more than £26 million a year. Pink star cabbage, which will be destined for a lot of variation in coleslaws. But this harvest, it's facing one big problem, finding enough people to lift the stuff out of the ground. Everything is harvested by hand, prepped by hand, but also planted by hand. So this is where now innovation is going to come. But until that point, and of course, innovation costs money. So, um, but with like any crisis, there's always something comes out of it. The veg industry has long pinned its hopes on technical innovation and robotics to reduce its need for workers. But that's yet to happen on any scale. This regional labour shortage could have a much wider impact. 30% of England's fresh veg is produced in Lincolnshire. In a normal year, 1,000 lorries per day leave the Spalding area alone carrying food. 50% of the lorry drivers in this industry are from migrant communities. Now, the autumn harvest has traditionally been a time when thousands of migrants, largely from Eastern Europe, have come to work in the cauliflower, broccoli and cabbage fields of southern Lincolnshire. On some farms, they've comprised up to 90% of the workforce. But new visa rules, as a result of Brexit, have severed that pattern of migration and we're left with the prospect of good food rotting in the fields. Brexit certainly ha having an impact. The people that could move freely within Europe before, now can't. In the past, we had something called a seasonal agricultural, agricultural workers scheme, which saw workers from outside of Europe come into the UK. Um, um, and you know, we, what we're looking for going forwards is, is, is a, an expanded seasonal agricultural workers scheme. We're in a refrigerated store. Simon has recently doubled wages here to try to attract UK-based workers. So how's that going? It's a prime vegetable area, but as getting people here, that's another, another thing, isn't it? If they've got to travel two hours or more, a hard day's work, go home, you, yeah, it's not great. What some farmers are now referring to as a crisis will inevitably impact all of us. There's a warning of vegetable price increases in the months ahead as labour shortages really begin to bite. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North, Spalding.